So you moved into this house, and I'm sure there's things that you want to change. What are you guys- want to change? There's things she's changed. Right. Oh. There used to be a pool table yeah. right here. Oh. You know how you have to get your way. You got to start oh, yeah. it small, do little hints uh, here and there. I, I get it. When me and Aunt moved in together, somehow yeah. I ended up with a motorcycle in my family room. <laughs> oh, nice. I would nice. love to have a motorcycle in, in yeah. here. Yeah. We don't have the space. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You know why we don't have the space? Why? Yeah. Because we have fish tanks. I love fish tanks. Um, I've always loved the ocean, and then I got into scuba diving. Now I volunteer at the aquarium. That's uh, beef. You know all their names. That's M and M. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and they all they all talk too. Hello, my name's Hemoglobin. You know, you were kind of complaining about the fish tank. I thought like maybe you didn't like them, but um, you're you seem more into it than the shop. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you. So, is an aquarium something you'd like to have in the new space? Oh, oh yeah. I would love that. Yes. Okay. What about this kitchen is not working? Like if you could just start from scratch. Grab your purse. Oh my God. Oh jeez. Oh, That's a big problem right yeah. there. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's broken. All right, I don't like this at yeah. all. I, I, of course I would never say that until <laughs> now. I have but, never heard uh, her say that. I've never said it. And yeah. I would never. Why would you come into somebody's house and Again. then say how awful it is? But of course. That's how I really feel. <laughs> I'm no, not I'm not a big fan of the countertops. So what colors do you like? I like bright colors and okay. bold colors. And you? I don't think you do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I would say my style mainly is modern. I like something that's cutting edge, something that's gonna last for a while. It's hard to really kind of like focus in on one particular uh, uh, style. Or hard to focus in general. <laughs> What's your guy's budget? So we have set aside for this 65,000. Okay. And we do have contingency money because I know the price always goes up. Yep. Okay, well we could definitely make that work. Let's talk layout real quick. Okay, so I think the most important thing is that we create a bigger island. Yes. And to do so, we're gonna have to get rid of doing the cooktop here. Here we should just do like a big wall of pantry. That way it's much more narrow. I also think we could do a recessed aquarium in this wall here. It would connect the kitchen and dining room and would be so colorful and vibrant. What? Yeah. I would love it, of course. Yeah. On this wall, we can do a small pantry right here, refrigerator, and then do the cooktop right here. It's gonna feel just so much more modern. It's gonna feel brighter. I like that. Yeah, that's great. You wanna use Mike? I would love to use Mike. We hang out with his family all the time. Great guy and a great contractor. Okay. Anna, you know the reason I think you hit this and it broke so easy is this wasn't even glued down. What? Take, what are you talking, wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not even glued down. Yeah, stole your glory. Hi. Hey. It looks so different in here. Yeah, wow. check out the aquarium wall. Yeah. It's gonna look awesome. We're ready, we're ready for design. My job here is a little difficult. Because, <laughs> because, <laughs> because I know that you want something more modern on the cutting edge yes. and I really want to keep it, you know, something unique that you're going to love for years to come. And Pando, I know you've seen so many houses and you're a little concerned about pulling the trigger on something that you're worried you're going to find something better in a week. Yes, exactly. I want to be right on the edge of, yeah. of design, you know, so it's good for a long period of time. Pando, the trendsetter. <laughs> so I was thinking on the fish tank wall, we can do black. That's really gonna highlight the aquarium and all the beautiful colors. Okay. And then we can do black lowers over here with white uppers. Right. And I like then that. I like do that. the island in this really cool wood. I like the mixture because it's the modern fill without the coldness yep. of modern that you can wow. get sometimes. Impressive. Yes. Yeah. And I chose a flooring that's light so that it'll really contrast nicely off the light and the dark. But I was thinking white quartz countertops and Ooh. Ooh, brass pull handle. Do you like, I that? like that? Yeah. You know what would go really good with that? What? That tile I asked you to bring. I brought it. Yes. This tile we've done in the past, and Pando absolutely loved it. Ta da! Is, are you joking? No, 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 no. That looks no. sloppy to me. Seriously? Yeah. You don't like that? No. That looks like our kids made it. I did bring an option, Michelle. That Thank has goodness. A bit of color. A nice blue herringbone. Still modern. Way better. 
Not loving it. I don't like that. Okay, so you're on board with everything else, the cabinets and the floors. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I think what we should do is get those ordered. That way we can start moving forward. Okay. In the meantime, the three of us are gonna go on a little shopping trip. Not gonna lie, I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah. It's gonna be rough. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk to you guys about something on the fireplace. Okay, sure. We've already removed most of the wood floors, right. but once we get up to this point, it goes underneath the stone. And so when we're gonna take out the, the hardware, it's gonna basically break the hearth, it's gonna break the stones on the bottom. You know why it does that? Why? Because I made it. <laughs> you did this. I did this. After we had the floors. How yeah. long did this take? This took me two years. <laughs> <laughs> two years. <laughs> underneath there's brick. Maybe it's time to part with the stack stone. Oh, thank you. What do you mean, thank you? <laughs> so you want to redo this? Yes. You don't like stack stone either? Compared to I love you, and, and <laughs> I didn't know that you had these skills to, to build, but I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it's gonna go with the style of the kitchen. I think we just do a fireplace like this, no mantle, maybe like a nice solid gray, and then we can do some floating shelves so you guys can hang some pictures and stuff like that. Deal. How much is all this gonna cost? Maybe like six, seven thousand dollars. What? Yeah. What? I mean, you're telling me there's six. brick behind here. I gotta, I gotta take out all the brick. You're not gonna think about the six grand uh, when you're sitting down and the whole house flows. I guess maybe you're right. Everything's gonna look new and modern. Hey, hey girl. Hi. Hi. You guys having fun? Yeah. How are you liking the construction zone? You surviving? Um, yeah. Cute little blended family. Today is a big day and really a turning point in this renovation. The cabinets are getting installed. What was really exciting, oh, here they come, is the aquarium is going in. I've done over 100 houses, but this is a first. Oh yeah, yeah. that's wow. a big take. Can't even believe that this is my house right now and this is happening. <laughs> Ready for two. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> right. so cool. Oh my okay. gosh, this is sick. And is there like a, a filter? The water gets circulated from the aquarium down into the filtration system down below because we didn't want to see any p filtration components in the aquarium at all. Show me. Oh my goodness. I know this is already installed, but now that I'm looking at it, like I wish that this part flowed better. So I'm thinking <laughs> we incorporate, oh we incorporate oh. this. But how difficult is that gonna be to cut those out? I mean, not fun. Oh, oh. We realize that it's late in the game, but we could really use Christina's help on updating this front room. How do you guys envision this space? Like, what do you want it to be used for? I think that functionality is yeah. important because yes. this is where the kids hang out, but it would be nice that it doesn't look <laughs> like it's just for the kids. Yeah. But I also want it to look nice. It's the first room you see when you come in the house. I think what would be really cool is if we kind of built out a box, set the TV in there, and did some nice like reclaimed wood around it, dark, modern, really comfortable couch right here. I feel like what would look really nice right here is to kind of get rid of the rounded look and just square it off. You know, I built this archway. <laughs> you did not. I did not. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> I keep wanting new things every day. So it sounds like a lot of money, you know, and I don't want to be that guy, you know, but. Um, okay. You know? So I'm just gonna do it quick. Okay. <laughs> so I think to do the built-in right here, like we talked about with the TV, and then square that off, we're looking at about $3,000. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh. done, I'm done. <laughs> I think these small changes will make a big impact in here, so it's worth doing while the house is already torn up. But I can tell you that contingency fund is dried up at this point.
These stools are amazing. I love that we tied in all the brass together with the pull really handles. Nice. Looks great. Perfect. Okay, I've got some poofs here. Poofs right here. He always notices these at my house. Oh, they're gonna love those. All right, you guys ready? Yes. Oh my gosh. Welcome to wow. the Wow. This is incredible. This is so overwhelming. It looks so homey in here. Like, yes. I, I know that the kids are going to love it. It went from just having a plain blank wall to just such a stunning, like, it looks like a piece of art now. The kids better not wrinkle a single pillow Yeah. On here. We'll just put some yeah. caution yeah, yeah, tape, sure, you sure. know? I like how everything flows together, but are you ready for the big one? Yeah. Okay. Kitchen. The kitchen. <laughs> wow. Look at the tank. I know, oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. It's got fish wow. in it. Wow. Oh my goodness. Backsplash, I mean, this is amazing. This is one of the most unique homes I've ever done. The fish tank, the tri-colored cabinets. You know what I like most about it though? Look how much seating you have around the island. Now you guys can actually eat yeah. in here, all of you. I absolutely love it. Look yes. how this fish tank pops. Right? Have you uh, yes. come up with any names yet? Are we all friends? I'm thinking that yellow one right there Ooh. is Christina. Oh, thank you. She's gonna be like, oh my God, I'm starting a new aquarium, a new <laughs> life, and I'm doing new people all over the place. And I got a new man. And I got a new man. Oh my gosh, I could stare at this all day, but yes. let's not forget, I mean, look at the transformation in the family room. The fireplace is wonderful. I know that this was an addition that we made later, and I loved my stack stone. I did it myself, but it looks so good. Your entire house is redone from the front door to the back door, and it looks yes. incredible. I wanted cutting edge, and I feel like that's what this is. I'm just so happy we were able to merge your two styles in such a beautiful way. It looks wonderful. You've done a great job in making this house ours. Love you guys. Oh, wow! Oh, okay, wait, oh, I love the yellow one. It's, an it's become a place that's ours, <laughs> and no longer a place that I just moved into. I love how design has the power to do more than just change a home. It's really bringing this family together and I'm so happy to be a part of it.